Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. Please consider hitting that subscribe button as I try to come out with videos on a regular basis. And with that said, let's get into today's video. So I want to talk about briefly the upcoming draft next week. What are our needs? Well, you know, if you sit back and you look at the team as a whole, we look at different sections that we always seem to be thin at year in and year out. Uh, one section that really screams thinness to me is definitely the linebacking position. All right, so linebackers, you know, we have um, uh, Cole Holcomb, we have uh, Jamin Davis. We had some injuries in there uh, last year as well. Uh, so we got really thin. It seems like when we do get the injury bug, we get um, we get really thin at linebacker. Jamin Davis, you know, he was our first rounder last year. He had some ups and downs. Uh, you know, he he really wasn't the playmaker that people were expecting him to be right off the bat. Uh, I think it's going to take him a while. I'm not ready to give up on him at all. I think it's just going to take him a while. I saw a few little flashes in Davis, but, you know, a lot of people were kind of disappointed with Davis last year. So, you know, linebackers, it's not a sexy pick at all, and I think a lot of people would be extremely upset if we went linebacker in the first round. You know, a lot of people right down their mock drafts are picking, you know, wide receivers and things like that, you know, the – the um, high-profile um, skilled positions because, you know, those are the playmakers. Those are those are the fun positions you want to see on the field, right? And so linebacker isn't always the most fun position. And, and quite frankly, you know, we hate getting burnt, you know, in the first round for a position like that. And so... I don't know if uh, first round is going to go with linebacker. Right now, it seems like a lot of mock drafts have us picking some sort of wide receiver or maybe a safety. And safety seems to be uh, another position that we often, it's either safety or it's corner. Honestly, it seems to be the secondary in general that we uh, seem to get a lot of thinness in. Well, if it comes with injuries or you know, just kind of erratic play, um, you know, just shifting guys around to try to find the right fit for their position. Um, we just seem like we never really get a good solid starting secondary. And uh, so I would see that probably Ron Rivera and company, Martin Mayhew, they're going to be looking hot and heavy for safeties in this um, in this draft, you know we got Cameron Curl, who is one of my favorites. I really expect big things out of Cameron Curl this year. Um, I expect bigger things out of uh, Benjamin St. Juice this year. Uh, you know we have Fuller. Uh, of course we uh, uh, we jettisoned um, uh, Landon Collins, who was really he excelled more in the linebacker position than he did safety for us. So, you know, we definitely need some more help at the safety position. And I think that that could be a position where Washington really targets in the draft and might actually target a little bit more in those higher rounds uh, than as opposed to the latter uh, uh, rounds than, than anything else. Um do I think that they're going to go after wide receivers? I'm sure, there's always a possibility, but, I mean, you know, look back on this as well. Uh, Washington still has Curtis Samuel. Um, they still had Diami Brown, who they drafted last year. Don't worry about Terry McLaurin. We still have our number one wide receiver, Terry McLaurin. We have Adam Humphreys, who was very dependable for us. We did lose uh, DeAndre um, Carter, which I – think was a huge loss for us, very huge loss. I'm really surprised that we did not try to keep DeAndre Carter. 
But we did lose him, so maybe we try to draft somebody to replace uh, DeAndre Carter. Um, but I don't know if wide receiver is going to be necessarily a big get for us this year in the draft. I think it really comes down to if one of the sought-after receivers happens to be available at number 11, then yes, you do draft that guy. It's best Best player available at that position, you have to, right? Or maybe that story remains the same in the second round as well. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if Washington, you know, traded down and picked up some more draft picks, especially picking up, back up some picks in the third round as well. You can really find a lot of great value within that third round. And so that's why I'm hoping that Washington does. And I'm going to try my best to release a video for the Washington Football Maniacs mock draft before draft day. Uh, I haven't done that yet. And I know last year I was a little bit more Johnny on the spot uh, talking about uh, the draft. And I just haven't done that this year. And I apologize. Um, So I'm a little bit behind. I'm going to get there. Uh, but I, I really think uh, as far as uh, the draft, I think if I'm um, Ron Rivera and company, I'm thinking more defense, honestly, because the defense underperformed last year. And I think a lot of that certainly has to do with uh, the uh, front line doing too much. Uh, of course, we lost guys like, uh, well, we lost both of our bookend greats there and so we're getting those guys back healthy this year um but i i really think that we've got to make sure that our defense who is really going to be the one to uh anchor this entire team has to be solid and so i think that's what what ron rivera is going to be focusing on he's a defensive minded coach anyway so i think he's going to be looking at linebacker crew I think he's going to be looking at the secondary those two sections are really the sections that we need to work on Um, and on offense I would say probably the offensive line as well Uh, the offensive line desperately I think needs uh, some upgrades we got some good players on that offensive line Uh, Leno solid player Um, you know but we we've got we've got to be able to replace guys like Brandon Sheriff, obviously. So we we've got some work to do. I don't think it always comes down to the obvious skilled players, and I think we've got enough wide receivers. Frankly, I might be in the m- minority on this, but I really think that we got enough skilled players that we could make it through this season with what we have. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Disagree, agree, whatever. Um, Again, thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing. Hit that like button, comment, share this video. Um, If you really want to support me, please visit my Patreon page. The link is in the description of this video. Thank you. I will see you in the next one. (laughs)